everybody, this is Lizzie Jones, and I'm here to share with you my initial thoughts about the Moments Inked Planner. I haven't really done anything with it yet, um, so this is just straight out of the box what I think about the planner itself. So the very first thing I thought was, this is really kind of thick. It's about an inch and a half um, thick, and I think this looks to be about a two inch ring. Um, I've seen an outline of what's inside, so I kind of know what to expect. So I know there's a bunch of really great stuff inside, um, but that was, you know, my just my initial thought. Um, the front cover is laminated. Uh, it's nice linen stock. It's nice and bright uh, printing. The corners are a little bit sharp, so I'll probably um, file or trim those down a little bit just so I don't stab myself. Um, the back cover is like a really nice book board. It's nice and sturdy. Um, and the ring, as a lefty I can say the ring is a little bit intimidating because it's so big. Um, but I think with all the different coordinating products and stamp sets and everything, there are enough ways for me to work around that um, that I don't think it'll be too much trouble. All right, so inside here, um, the pages are really nice linen paper. Um, it feels really special. Uh, I've had planners before that um, the pages just didn't, I mean they were just paper, but these, this paper feels nice and luxurious. Um, also from a lefty standpoint, it doesn't seem like they're coated with anything, so hopefully um, it won't smear too much. Uh, the, the dividers are like a cardstock version of that same linen stock, and the tabs are all laminated, so hopefully those will hold up pretty well. It seems like they probably will. You've got the uh, year at a glance. You've got this year and next, um, which is a nice handy reference. Oh, this is great. So, um, perpetual calendar for birthdays and anniversaries, that sort of thing, annual type things. It'd be great to keep track of those. And each month has a different color story. Now let's start it here. Let's start at the beginning of a month, just so we don't get lost here. So, each month starts with um, like a quote or an inspirational sort of message, which is just sort of a nice detail. Um, and so here's the, the whole month at a glance. Um, it looks like the squares are not huge, but um, they're big enough to write like somebody's birthday or this is August, so Stamp Affair is uh, August 29th this year. It's just big enough to, to write like big events in. Um, and then there's a sidebar here with the coming month, and then you can write like notes. Um, so if something's happening like on the first, you won't be surprised. Um, you can have like a little heads up for yourself in the in the margin there. And oh, so we've got um, your whole week here. Each day is split into separate. Um, section so you got morning, afternoon, and evening, and like a little note section. Um, this is great for you know when a task doesn't fit into a specific time. At least it's still on there, um, which is sort of just a nice reminder. So we've got the weeks here. And so these are the daily pages. Um, Nicole sort of worked in some really great details that I was super excited about to, when she um, she first sent us the information about this. Um, things like a meal planner. I am not great at thinking ahead for meals. Um, often my husband and I will look at each other at like 5.30 and ask what's for dinner. <laughs> and then we've got to figure it out from there. Um, this will make it easy to sort of look ahead a week or you know a few days even and just pre-plan meals um, so we know what we need, we know we need to go to the grocery store, that sort of thing. Um, 
the top three tasks I think will be great for um, those days when you know you've got like this major to-do list um, and you can really hone in on the three really important things so it doesn't feel too terribly overwhelming. Um, I love this this little hydrate icon. It's a just a really beautiful visual reminder to get enough water every day. Um, I'm one of those people that carries a water bottle, um, but I don't always remember to use it. So I think that would be, again, just a really great visual reminder. Um, but in addition to like some of the basic like task-oriented stuff, um, Nicole's worked in really special stuff like the Be Grateful section, um, sort of a gratitude journal, uh, which just, again, is a visual reminder of the things that you have to be grateful for, which I, I think is really valuable. Um, also, a memorable moments section. I tend not to be a scrapbooker because I find it really overwhelming. Uh, there's just, there's layouts and there's photos and there's everything uh, involved with that. And I think this is a really great sort of small bite-sized way for me to keep track of um, really important memorable things. Uh, and the activity section I think is really awesome too. Um, it's just a, a good way to remember like, oh, today you've got Pilates class or you should try and get in a run or whatever else. Um, and I think that will help me um, personally quite a bit. All right, so get past all the months here. Past December to the notes section. There's some things I wanted to look at there. Um, <laughs> make today ridiculously amazing. Who doesn't need that reminder once in a while, right? All right, so I've got my binding twisted a little bit here. It's sort of getting in the way, but um, this is like a, a, an important context section. Um, I like having things on paper. I don't like always relying on um, on my my phone or my computer for things. Um, it's nice to unplug a little bit, and this will help with that, I think, um, just because it'll keep some of those really important people and their info right at hand. Um, and everything's so colorful. I love how every month has a color story. Um, it's also bright. It all coordinates with the paper tray stuff. So um, if you are using the coordinating dies and stamps and, um, you know, whatever, you can use your, your paper tray cardstocks and inks and it won't look out of place. It'll all sort of blend together and be really nice. Um, who doesn't need line paper for notes or um, even color combos would be, uh, this would be a great place to put those. And grid line paper for sketches or whatever else. Um, I love, I love, love, love um, having grid line paper available. Um, especially if, you know, I toss this in a tote bag and, you know, I'm waiting at like, you know, a doctor's office or whatever. I can draw up some card sketches and use my time, all of my time, um, really effectively. And then this last page I think is really cool. Um, again, I am not a scrapbooker because I find the whole thing a little overwhelming. So um, this is the year in review and it's just a really nice way to um, take note of, of particulars that um, were special throughout the year. So places you traveled, funniest moments, good habits, bad habits. It's just sort of a fun way to document your year and document uh, your life. And the fact that this this planner and the paper and everything, it feels so nice and luxe and special, you can hold on to this and it's a memento. You know, you can, even if there are just certain pages, if you are a scrapbooker, you could trim it out and, um, you know, put it in one of your albums, which I think is really sort of handy. 
so there it is the um, moments inked planner um, I'm really excited to use it uh, I hope you are too and um, I think I think with all of the different coordinating products and things it'll be and all the beautiful colors of course um, I'll really have a lot of motivation to to keep playing with it and keep up to date with it and it'll be a lot of fun all right great Again, this is Lizzie Jones um, talking about the Moments Inked Planner, and I'm really excited about it. I hope you are too, and uh, we'll see you again next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.